Well, this is just a really good group of young women and they work hard every day. They have great team chemistry, team culture. Um, they're just a joy to work with and, and be around. And it's, it's gonna be exciting to see what this group can accomplish because based on their work ethic and their attitude and the talent that we have, I think it's gonna be an exciting year. You know, we expect our pitchers to do one of two things for us, either be so dominating that they can win the game or at least dominating enough that they'll keep us in the game. Um, and the third option is they lose the game. Certainly we don't want that to be an option. But I think we have the kind of pitching that at times they will dominate offensive lineups. Um, but I think consistently the goal for the pitchers is to keep us in the game, you know, give us a chance to win. Offensively, what's exciting is we have a lot of lefties. A lot of lefties who can, what you call a triple threat, they can drop, they can slash it to the shortstop, they can hit the ball with some power in the gaps, um, and they're very fast on the bases. So, I mean, at any one time we could have five or six lefties in the lineup, and that's exciting. And then we have a good combination of hitters who just can hit the ball with power, like Mary, like Bethany, um, like Caitlin, um, Allie. All of those athletes can really Know, put a good swing on a good pitch and drive the ball to the gaps or drive it out of the park. So I really love our combination that we have of lefties who can do multiple things at the plate, have a lot of speed on the bases, and then power hitters in the middle of the line. Bethany Sullinger um, is a fifth year senior, had a medical red shirt, uh, shoulder, shoulder uh, surgery, who I, I feel she has really finally come back from that and is strong and healthy this year. She's our most recent player to have over 40 RBIs in a single season. So if she has that kind of year, um, that's gonna go a long way towards the success of our team. Mary Stevens, also a fifth year senior who had a medical red shirt. And Mary was an all-conference player early on in her career. So we know that uh, she definitely has the talent. Uh, she probably has the highest softball IQ on the team. And, and probably higher than mine even. I mean, she is just really understands the game. Liv, first team all-conference player last year, one of, I think, four players who hit above 400 in the league. Um, you know, really an elite player, not just on our team, but in the league itself. Um, has adapted extremely well to, to be moved to the outfield. And um, just a spark at the plate, very quick on the bases, a high competitive player. Just really makes us better in a lot of ways. Elena's been an everyday player for us since her sophomore year over at third base. She um, will be at third some, she'll be at short some. She has a great arm, she's a great defensive player. Um, I thought really had a breakout year last year as a junior, both on both sides of the ball, and I think she'll have an even better uh, senior year for us. Um, again, highly competitive player who um, will, will do great things for us. Madison Jones, um, Really could be a senior, but had a medical red shirt injury. So uh, came back really, really strong from that medical red shirt year a year ago and had an outstanding year defensively at second base and offensively at the plate. Um, you can't ask for any better than that when somebody just consistently gets it done on both sides of the ball. Sarah Jones, I can't say enough good things about Sarah Jones. So Sarah is really, kind of the heart and soul and leader of this group. Um, she's the kind of player that makes everybody better every day, including me, just by her attitude and her energy and uh, her enthusiasm. And, and she demands excellence from herself and she demands it from the rest of us. Caitlin really has grown a lot as a pitcher, um, continues to get better and better every year. And I expect her to really be a steady force for us in the eight foot circle this year. Had some really great moments on the mound last year. I think she'll have more great moments on the mound this year. Also a huge power hitter in the middle of our lineup. Haley, uh, great talent, local talent from uh, Ozark, uh, has a gun in the outfield, just a gun. She's a, everything you want from a player in the outfield. She's got the speed, she's got the arm, she's got the first step. And at the plate, a triple threat can really you know, slash and dash, can put down a bunt, can hit the ball with some power, has speed on the bases, and just a lot of tools at the plate. 
Erica Easy, she goes by. Um, center fielder, she's been our starter in center field since her freshman year, since she was newcomer of the year in the league. So again, an elite player on our team, an elite player in the league itself. Um, just also has a very strong arm, covers a tremendous amount of, of ground in the infield. A good communicator, good leader out there. Uh, will hit somewhere in the top of our lineup. Again, a triple threat at the plate and uh, our top base stealer. Allie, you know, Allie's uh, come a long way in a year since uh, her recovery from cancer and just continues to get stronger and better every day. She will, has moved to first base as uh, her defensive position and also you know, can really provide a big bat for us at the plate. Kiana, uh, Plays on the left side of the infield, can play third base, can play shortstop. We'll probably see some time at both spots. Um, really looking for her to probably fill in at shortstop, uh, the one position that we'll be new at in the infield this year. Uh, doing a good job there. She's quick, has quite a bit of range, strong arm. Uh, again, a lefty hitter who can do a lot of things at the plate, uh, also among our top base leaders. Hannah, uh, outfield. Uh, she, you know, I love the way Hannah swings the bat. Uh, when she makes contact, often it's extra base hit. She has hit several home runs early on in her career. Uh, just can hit the ball with some pop. Uh, provides us some great depth in the outfield as well. Morgan has uh, moved to catcher, which is really you know, her best position. She was kind of our backup shortstop last year, but um, is, frames the ball well, receives the ball well, uh, has a good mind for calling the game. Very strong arm. Darian uh, saw quite a bit of time last year behind the plate. We'll see even probably more time behind the plate this year. Um, again, a very good arm back there. Um, and also expect a lot of extra base hits out of her at the plate this year. Holly Kelly, uh, junior college All-American pitcher. Very excited about her, what she looked like this fall, what she's looked like in practice. She will come in and help us immediately in the eight foot circle. Has a tremendous rise ball, throws the ball hard, has great composure out there for a pitcher. It's been a great addition to our team. Also swings the bat pretty well, so she'll help us on both sides. Darby, a very talented freshman, um, will be the backup in, the, uh, in second base. Um, may Move to the outfield is just a utility player who can kind of go where we need her to go. She's that athletic. Karsten, uh, Karsten again, likewise, learning, growing, and developing every day. Uh, will eventually step in and play quite a bit of shortstop for us. Um, just really working on understanding uh, what it takes at this level. But power hitter, right handed power hitter. Um, in the future, she's going to be a tremendous player for us. Aaron Griesbauer, a freshman pitcher, um, throws the ball hard, uh, highly competitive in the eight-foot circle, uh, learning and growing and developing every day. It takes some time for her to adjust to this level, um, but she will get there.